Public Relations Director at ISC West. We're here talking to manufacturers and service providers that are on the show floor launching their new products and technologies. And we've seen some fabulous new products that we wanted to bring to you and share with you the information. Um, sitting with me is uh, Cooper Notification, uh, one of the mass notification companies that are, have uh, brought their new products to the show. With me is Ted Milburn, um, and Cooper is out of Long Branch, New Jersey. Cooper is out of Long correct? Branch, New Jersey, that's correct. Welcome, Ted. Thank you for coming and uh, spending some time with me. Oh, thanks, Beth. I appreciate the opportunity. Tell me a little bit about Cooper. Uh, Cooper Notification is a um, mass notification company specializing in specifically uh, indoor, outdoor, and personal learning for the mass notification industry today. Mm -hmm. We've been in business uh, specifically in this industry for 12 or 13 years. Um, Cooper Notification is a makeup of, of three separate entities or three separate acquisitions. One is in the outdoor voice, the second one is in the indoor, indoor notification, and the last is a personal learning, text alerting, uh, computer generated pop ups, and those type of things for different ways to get to individuals in crisis events. And unfortunately, we've heard a lot about that recently, haven't we? Yeah, un unfortunately, um, you know, we work in an environment where um, we get involved with assisting people on how to react during an emergency condition. So whether it's a typical shooter on campus, whether it's a, a hurricane, the tsunami, those type of things that happen today, the, the natural man-made disasters as well as weather-related disasters, we help manage and communicate to people on exactly what they're supposed to do during that crisis event. So our company specializes in specifically in all ways to do that. Mass notification today is a term that is uh, maybe underused, sometimes uh, overused. Everyone has a little bit different way that they talk about it, mm. and everybody has a little bit different definition of what mass notification is today. Um, today, there are a lot of codes in the in the uh, U.S. especially that are now coming about that that help us define what mass notification is about. These are emerging codes, mm. and it's an emerging marketplace. So there's a lot of confusion, and what we're trying to do is guide people or help our consumer, our clients, on how to deploy an effective mass notification system today. So there's a fair amount of education that probably needs to take place at the end user level, which would probably be a campus security or safety director um, or a healthcare yeah, facilities, I, right? Primarily, um, the, the biggest use today, it seems, or the biggest market is in in campus type mm. of uh, situation, campus emergencies. And that's just because of all of the press that's involved, typically around shooters and, and things like that, that are on a campus. So we work a lot of with campus administrators and um, integrators on how to effectively deploy the different ways that you can get to people and notify them mm. of any kind of a tragedy or emergency as it's occurring. So primarily, the biggest market today is in the campus environment. The other one's hospital, mm -hmm. any type of commercial installation, industrial, uh, petrochemical, uh, ports, all mm -hmm. those type of things. Any place that is subject to some kind of man-made disaster at that point, right. we work and assist people in managing the crisis. And so from there, you've got um installations, if that's the right term for it, all over. I mean, obviously, campus, as you said, but um, you, you never know when one of these crises may strike, so it, it makes good sense for companies to consider if they have the potential for these crises. Yeah, absolutely. One of the first um, ways that you start looking at uh, how to implement a mass notification strategy, the first thing you have to understand is you have to do a risk analysis to, analysis to understand what your potential risk is and then once you do that then you can start looking at how to mitigate that risk. Mm -hmm. So a, a lot of people today are looking for funding on on how do we deploy hardware or software for an implementation mm -hmm. and the first thing that we forget about a lot of times is what is the risk that we're trying to mitigate. Right. So we work with a lot of end users on bringing them to the table and say okay how, do, how is it that we do this? Do we, we just simply can't throw technology at the problem mm -hmm. without understanding what the problem is first. Right. So we spend a lot of time in, in the education side and help people. The biggest question that we always get from everyone is where do I start? Mm -hmm. And so we try to help and we try to solve that problem for people and here's what you have to do first and then here's some options or some solutions on how you want to made, 
mitigate some of the risks that you have today? And that's a complex set of questions depending upon the particular campus or facility or institution. It, it's not only um, a, a different campus, it's geographic. I mean, some campuses, their biggest threat would be weather-related issues. Uh, other ones are quite different. So it's, it's not only geographic, but the type of the market and the type of installation, mm -hmm. everyone has a different threat. So petrochemical uh, accident is mm -hmm. certainly would be a different type of a threat level than would be on a college campus mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. So everything is different. And today everybody looks for a very prescriptive way to, to mitigate the risk or a prescriptive way to please somebody tell me how to do this, and there's no easy answer. You have to look at what your risk is and then the best way to deploy that. Right, whether it's a very, very high-tech or low-tech particular product yeah. or solution. Yeah, yeah. sometimes um, the, the right solution is just putting a process in place, and it's not a technology, <laughs> right, right? right? And so you have to balance that. You know, I, I think, especially us as manu manufacturers, we look at, you know, we like to sell you things, mm -hmm. but unless if you've done your homework first and understand what you need, we can't help you. Right. Right. And again, it goes back to risk. Absolutely. What are you trying to mitigate or have to mitigate before you can determine the solution? Absolutely. Right. So uh, we said it, you guys, uh, Cooper Notifications in Long Branch, New Jersey, but if people want to find out more about the products we just talked about, where can they find you on the web? We, we can look at um, coopernotification.com mm -hmm. is, is the biggest source. Uh, our products, we work with directly with integrators. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we look for typically security integrators that we work through, become our partners, mm -hmm. and the, our product is available through there. Um, we we are, are not simply a buy off the shelf, mm -hmm. it's an engineered solution. Mm -hmm. So you have to work with an integrator to package not only the notification side, but in a typical installation, you have to mix the technology of of potentially video access mm -hmm. control, those type of things into a complete solution for you know the the final solution you're sure. looking for to mitigate your risk. Yeah, and that and again that could be a complex set of parameters and metrics and things like that. Absolutely. Okay. So but uh, so coopernotification.com is where we can find you on the web Absolutely. and and through a, a local integrator. Through a local uh, integrator. Right. Great. Well, thank Great. you Ted. Appreciate right. it. Thank you so much Beth. I Thanks. appreciate Thanks the opportunity. You. Thanks.